In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make and equip PAL gear. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a PAL gear workbench table over here, which in your technology tree is unlocked at level six, the PAL gear workbench right here. Now, once you have this, you will actually have to catch relevant PALs in order to unlock the recipes for their different gears. Each PAL has seemingly one piece of gear that you can equip on them. I don't know if there's more in the future, but right now it seems like each PAL gets its own unique gear piece. And if we go into our technology tree over here, you can see if you progress down here and you scroll down, you'll see a lot of these things here have question marks. Even though you are this level, it has a question mark. This means you haven't caught the PAL that is capable of using this item. If I scroll up here a bit, you'll see that Daydream, I have its necklace over here so that it will always stay by my side and attack enemies with me, even if it's not the PAL that is being used in my party. So I can theoretically use another PAL while having Daydream in my party with a necklace, and technically I'm fighting with two pals at the same time. Or Malpaka, which gets a saddle, which allows you to ride it. Fox Sparks, which has a harness, which allows you to pick up Fox Sparks and use it as a flamethrower to just straight up just burn the other enemies with fire. Pretty cool. So you will have to at least catch each of these pals so that you unlock the recipe for their thing. For example, Tansy's Assault Rifle at level 12. An assault rifle at level 12 while I'm using a metal spear. That's insane. And the way this works is all you got to do is go up to the PAL gear workbench, select recipe. For example, we can go ahead and craft the Tansy's assault rifle. Now you'll only ever need one of these and we're going to go ahead and start production. This actually isn't even that expensive to make. So we're going to go ahead and craft this Tansy's assault rifle. There we go. We're going to acquire it. Now this doesn't actually go stored in your specific inventory. You don't actually have to use it or anything. You will find it within your key items though. So on your inventory, you'll see on the left hand side, on the right is a key items and it will be stored in here along with all of your other pals gears, as well as the lift monk effigies, which you use to upgrade your, uh, your, your player's abilities at the statue of power. So now you don't actually have to equip this as long as you have this as a key item. Anytime you use Tansy in your party, it will immediately be equipped with this item. So for example, if I go ahead and I swap to Tansy and I go ahead and I press E so that we throw it out like this, you'll see here, I can now press F or the button at the bottom of the screen for you. I'm not sure what that would be. And if you hold this button down, it will just straight up, you know, use the, the, the freaking assault rifle on whatever enemy is, is nearby. So let's go ahead and test this out. We're gonna go ahead and fight this Nightwing in the sky over here. I'm gonna use a three shot bow, bring it down to the ground. It should land on the other side of the wall. Nice, good job, dude. So now we're gonna throw Tansy out and you'll see here the cherry rifle is right over here. Now they're gonna get into a fight and I actually just have to go ahead, actually I should throw this closer like this. And then I hold and I press the F key and you'll see it will literally just use an assault rifle and delete the HP of the Nightwing and I can go ahead and catch it. Nice and easy. It also does a ton of damage to like boss fight creatures. I think it just stopped there because it didn't want to kill it. And that essentially is how you're going to play the game by swapping to different pals and immediately being able to use their abilities so that you can, you know, fight the fights as best as you can. Because some of the boss fights in this game seem quite difficult, not gonna lie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.